scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Zebra Kata Baladabash. Can you just pray in other tongues for one minute? Rakata bada gasha braga de bala da bakata braga de bala de boko sofranda kata bala da bakasha pekaya mam brakata bakata braga de bala de boko sofrekata ragada braga de bala da boko sofrekata kada bala de boko shem bras kata ba rakata ba 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 kata yada ba rata bras kasa kata bakata braga de bala de boko rakata braga de bala da baske braga de bala da boko rakata braga de bala da bakata braga de bala da boko sofrekata kada bala de boko Rakata bala 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 the fiery presence of the Holy Ghost. You have taken all the glory, you have taken all the praise, you have taken all dominion, you have taken all the praise, and you have made them yours. You have made them yours. I is praise to the King. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. You have made them yours from everlasting to everlasting thou art God blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the rock the one upon whom we stand blessed be the name of the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. We have no ministry without his presence. We have no message without his presence. His presence can do more than a thousand words can speak. Moses said, do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us. For how shall they know that we are a separated people? How shall they know you are distinguished for your glorious presence? We thank you for your presence, that majestic presence. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. You know, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you cultivate the art of God's presence, you will walk in dimensions of the spirit that will make you afraid because you are operating with a backing that no power in existence can limit. The preaching of the word is not about English. No, no. Otherwise, some of us will not be in ministry. But Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. But I came with the demonstration of the spirit. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of a man, but upon the power of God. What you see happening in this place, that effect on your body, that effect on your mind and your spirit that you cannot help. This is not psychology. This is the manifest presence of God. For when he shows up, both animate and inanimate things, no matter how hardened your heart is, the Bible says that his presence, even the mountains harder than your hearts, keep like lambs. This is why we cultivate the art of his presence. We have no message without his presence. In a generation and time when everybody wants to say something, Everybody is saying something. Elihu said, I heard you speak and so I kept quiet. Because I thought you were older than me and you should have something to say. But Elihu was quick to note to them. That when it comes to the realm of delivering the wisdom of God, it's not about age. He said, but there is a spirit. There is a presence that can tabernacle in a man. And the inspiration that derives from that presence can make any man of understanding the capacity to comprehend spiritual things and deliver them with accuracy such that you can walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and grant that the things that the Holy Ghost wants in the lives of the people are the things that are delivered. You become an oracle void of the capacity to minister on your own. The Bible says our sufficiency is not of ourselves. We didn't call ourselves, it says our sufficiencies of God who has made us qualified ministers of the new covenant. Not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. Thank you for the privilege. Without the presence of God, you won't be here. That presence. This has been my message for years. If you lose the presence of God, the psalmist said, cast me not away from your presence and Cain departed from the presence of God cast me not away from your presence let it rain let it rain yeah. open the floodgates of heaven let it rain and he showed me a river that flowed from the throne as clear as crystal and it flowed to the tree of life and the leaves of that tree was for the healing of the nation let it rain from your throne let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain like the dew of heaven let it rain until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest let it rain open the floodgates of heaven Can you just be silent? Just play keyboards, just play anything. Na 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 na
Just be still in his presence. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in your name. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Le Mariana Mosona na Mariana na na Mosha na 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 ya. Se na na Mosumba na 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 Mosia. Just be still in His presence. She na 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 Mosia na 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 Mosha. Mariana na Mosha. There's a sounds in the spirit. My anana mosu na ni anana mosu di anana na. She na 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 mosu pari anana. And be not drunk with wine wherein in excess, but be ye filled with the spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Just leave alone. And ye are come out to Mount Zion. The place of the firstborn, where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect. Where the blood of sprinkling speaks. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. It shall come to pass in that day. That the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted and all the nations shall flow through. There is a kind of fire that does not destroy. There is a kind of fire that refines. There is a kind of fire. Every spirit that is not of God along this circumference. Please ushers take note. Some people are going to be delivered right now from outside. Lift your hands. Let the power of God fall. Every demonic influence or possession of all sorts outside. Shataka parata rakataya. I dethrone. I dethrone principalities. I dethrone powers and rulers. I speak against spiritual wickedness in the heavens. Now inside this building I pray Everyone under the influence of darkness Bring that lady out Everyone under the influence of darkness Release them now Chains Be broken Chains Be broken Upon Mount Zion Let there be deliverance Chains Bring that lady out I proclaim emancipation. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Satan, let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Yokes outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shatatatata. 
Maka pareka rekete makoporiata eke pokoto mabata likete rekete ka mapoto kote rekete ke pariata meko pososo kota rekete belekata rapariekata outside the fire of the Holy Ghost is falling every walk of darkness for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy annihilate liquidate the works of darkness outside there is an angel of deliverance outside there is an angel of deliverance outside Sheketeka, Reketeka, Reposhata, Mariata, Rakata, Peketelekosia, Becaria, Secaria, 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 Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. I see a chain, and that chain is a snake. Come bring this lady. So let hope rise. You will leave her right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Go. That devil, you are going. Come out of her right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go, go. This is Mount Zion where there is deliverance. She's free. You will not hide. Come out, come out. Take her out. She's going to cough out something. Run with her. She will cough out something. Come. Highest praise to the king. Listen. Look at what I'm seeing. A snake is biting this lady. This is why she's holding this. I'm seeing a snake in the realm of the spirit. You are a wicked spirit. Your time is gone. You are living now. Out. Come out. Come out of her. With a loud shout, he will go. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. You're going. Go. Go. Out right now. Go. Devil of darkness. I challenge you by the power that is in the name of Jesus. You cannot stand. She has come to a place of liberty. You are going now. Now. Out of her. Out of her. Highest praise to the king. Highest praise to the king. Highest praise to the king. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. I prophesy, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything 
you free in Jesus name come out of her now out out you cannot hide I see you in the spirit come out right now thou foul devil of darkness come out of her for who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it there is judgment upon you tonight and you will go out of her right now Taking all the praise, let her go. Let her go now. Now. Let her go. Come out of her. Let her go. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord forever he remains Lord in this place Lord let this be a place continually where your healing power will find the expression without restriction where your ability to deliver will find expression without restriction where your grace to change and transform men We will preach the truth. We will declare your counsel in truth. We refuse to follow the status quo of ministry and society. We choose to be pleasers of the mighty God. Come. Lay your hands on our shoulder. Just lay your hands on our shoulder. No, no, no. Listen. Just lay your hands on her shoulder. I'm seeing a serpent. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. Just keep your hands on her shoulder. Ushers are anointed people full of the Spirit of God.
you will go where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty hallelujah please be seated God bless you just leave them I welcome every one of you inside and outside those outside can you shout hallelujah God bless you. Thank you so much. Those inside, can you shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 4. I apologize. We will suspend our family life series temporarily. We will resume next month. Hallelujah. We are supposed to be talking about family life and relationship. But there is an urgent message in my spirit. So we'll move by the Spirit. Romans. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve. You deserve. You deserve. The lifting of my hands. To you, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve the lifting of my hand. Listen, some of you who will be ministers, when you become a minister, make sure listen to me i'm not speaking to everybody but i'm speaking to some of you who will later have churches and ministries refuse to be like other people you may be strange you may be uncommon you may be criticized but make sure you walk with god consistently don't just try to do things because people do them. Don't just try to say things because people say them. It is they that are led of the Spirit that are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 4. Romans 4. Verse 17. If you are there, say amen. amen. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before whom he believed, even God, who giveth life to the dead and call it those things which are not as though they were this is talking about Abraham now who is Victoria 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 come who against hope believed in hope You had a dream yesterday night and a dog was chasing you. Who is that person? You were running to an extent that when you woke up, it was affecting you. Please, who is the person? I'm just flowing as the Lord is showing me. Please make sure you come out. Let's finish the scripture, please. We're out of time. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. A lady from Katsina. Is she here? Katsina. Who? Come.
whatever you came to find you will find it tonight coming all the way from Katsina look at me the Lord will do something in your life tonight that will surprise you hmm? can I pray for you thank you Jesus hold my hands both of your hands Jesus do something in her life let an anointing come upon you may it set you on fire a presence that you cannot understand I pray I bless you with a hunger for his presence I bless you with the spirit of prayer and supplication I bless you with the spirit of might may you be strengthened these hands I'm holding will go back and you will do terrible things in righteousness I pray for you and even that yoke of delay upon your life is lifted it's lifted take as many of the messages and take it back to Katsina this was your intention the Lord will satisfy your heart in Jesus name who against all hope verse 18 believed in hope You know why they are bowing? Look at this. Let me explain something to you. So that some of you don't just think this is idolatry. Listen. They are not bowing to me. Are you listening to me? Bring the lady who is shouting outside. They are not bowing to me. This is what I want you to understand. They are bowing to the government that is represented in this place. For the Bible says... At the mention of the name of Jesus is it not written in your Bible that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess with everything come yours is a fire you are not oppressed look at me a fire will come upon your spirit. Your eyes will open. Let the veil be opened. In the name of Jesus, a fire will run from your right leg down to your chest. It's an impartation of grace. For this has been your hunger. You came with a hunger. Lord Jesus, visit her. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will walk in a mighty healing anointing. You will do terrible things in righteousness. I call for the fountain from within your spirit. Let there be a breaking of the outer man and the release of the spirit. We will shout for your glory with everything with everything we will shout let's continue I must establish what I'm trying to do tonight I really wish that we have a lot of time someone outside will shout heavily under the anointing please when when that person shouts let me have the person here just the power and the fire of God at the same time will come upon the person outside. When that happens, let me see the person. Let's continue. 19, and be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old. Neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. 20, are you there? Let's read together. One to read. You can look up his projected one to read through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god next verse stop just the first four words one two one more time one more time one more time the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. This is not a message to Koinonia. This is a message to the body of Christ. 
and I pray that it will go far. The same finger that has taken our messages beyond us, let that invisible hand take this message beyond the borders of this nation. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost began to speak to me. How that... How that many believers, listen please, are unable to walk in the reality of the power and authority of the word because of unbelief. And many believers have not yet come to a point where you are convinced about the truthfulness and the reality of the word of God. We sing songs. That talk about the power of God. We sing songs. That talk about the grace of God. We sing songs. About the things that God has done. And what he can do. We make. Seeming confessions of faith. But embedded in our heart. Is a stronghold of unbelief. And the Holy Ghost began to communicate a lamentation in my spirit that the body of Christ is walking in great unbelief. Great unbelief. Our capacity to trust the word of God enough such that we can allow it to rule our lives. Such that we can stake our lives at the integrity of the word is what is wanting in the body of Christ. That's the person. Bring the person. There is a level of realness. Please look at me. There is a level of realness. It's not just one person. It was an instruction to one person. But the hunger of another person is going to make the person catch the fire. So it will be two people. There is a realness. There is an authenticity about the reality of the spirit. Listen, there is an authenticity about the reality of the kingdom life. That if you shatter the walls of unbelief, it will bring you into a solid experience. Where you are persuaded that the things that have been written are true. There is a conviction, a solid, grounded, spiritual conviction that comes upon your heart. You know that you know that you know. You enter the realm I call the Sabbath of faith. The Sabbath of faith. The rest of faith. You're not trying to doubt. You're not trying to make yourself believe. It has become your present day reality. This is the experience that is lacking in the body of Christ. Let me tell you what we need in the body of Christ. It's not new messages. There are explicit messages. Just switch on your TV. There are all kinds of revelations that come. But what we lack is the ability to stay. Come back. God is not done with you. Look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. He's not done with you. Just look at my eyes. The ability to be so convinced about the reality of the truth of God's word is one of the highest dimensions that a man can stand in the spirit he said Abraham and being fully persuaded being fully convinced there is a depth of conviction about spiritual realities 
even those that preach great messages that message has not changed them there is a conviction this is a pulpit there's no message that would change me from knowing that this is a pulpit there is a rest i believe i am persuaded There are impartations that are just going on because this is a strong message from the heart of the spirit to the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. Demons are not afraid of crowd. That's the reason why through diabolic powers you can get crowd. Demons are not even afraid of powerful words. And the seed is the word. When it was falling on the soil, Satan didn't mind because he knew some would be a waste. Do you know that Satan is not afraid of the word of God. What Satan is afraid is your reception of the word of God. Such that it becomes living and active. This is what makes him afraid. For even the demons know that Jesus is Lord and they tremble. But it does not change them. Are you listening to me? Oh, Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my provider. Jesus is this and that. We confess it. We have Bible studies explaining certain things. I've been given authority over snakes and scorpions. There is no conviction. Adolf Hitler came out and he believed that the Jews should be annihilated based on whatever revelation. He had a solid conviction and he lived his entire life till death attempting to carry out that agenda. Listen. The world is ruled by men of conviction. Satan has a solid conviction that one day he will dethrone God. And that conviction keeps him alive day and night. Regardless of the number of miracles that happen in a crusade ground, Satan has never gone back to give himself worry and ask the demons to retreat. Conviction. If you will believe half of the revelations you know if you become convicted by their reality it will change you every time i have the opportunity to go and share the word of god people invite me and they say we are expectant that's the text they write to me and then i'm wondering you are expectant what are you waiting to see and they begin to invite their friends oh joshua selman is coming it's going to be a powerful meeting have you realized that the most powerful messages that have been preached have lacked the ability to produce the effect that those messages were supposed to carry? We preach powerful messages, solid messages. Many of you believe you are anointed. You believe in the anointing. But you will soon find out that you are just informed that you are anointed it has not yet become a conviction but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded who against all hope believed and this is the cry of the spirit there are many things god wants to release to people there are many dimensions that God wants us to walk. Listen, I write to you, O oh, excellent Theophilus, of all the things that Jesus began to do and teach. Do and teach. We do not have a performance that solidifies our convictions. Many of you are here and you are hearing this word. You are seeing all the miracles and the signs and the wonders. A laughter will come by the spirit. I'm hearing it in the realm of the spirit. A laughter will come by the spirit. And this is a sign. A laughter will come by the spirit. This is not the laughter. There are many sounds. There is a laughter. It's purely by the Holy Ghost. 
please just flow with me this is not a normal this is not your church when you come for koinonia just take away your intellect because it will insult it a lot there is a laughter let's continue there is a laughter these things are signs and wonders I pray that as you see and watch and hear these things that the Bible will come alive to you and you will know that this is not just some religious things for all scripture was inspired of the Holy Ghost holy men moved by the Spirit began to write these things and for as many who will believe it and walk in the conviction he is alive and active watching over his word to perform it that's the laughter outside that's the laughter outside please bring the person Lift your Bibles, everybody. I'd like you to say after me, in the name of Jesus, I believe that the Holy Ghost inspired holy men to write this and that the truth of God's word is contained in this. Wherever I see it and read it, I will understand and I will believe. Do you know I'm going to say something that will surprise you. The Holy Ghost told me this and it rattled my theology. He said there is only one reason why prayer and fasting was designed in the Bible. Prayer and fasting was designed to attack only one limitation, unbelief. That's all. Hmm. I've read many scriptures that talk about many things that prayer and fasting does. But when you study in the spirit, you will find out that at the heart of everything is unbelief. They could not cast the one with the epileptic spirit. And Jesus said it was because of unbelief. He said, however, this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. That means prayer and fasting opens up the reality of God to you. And when God is opened up to you, unbelief, there is a stronger conviction than what your optical eyes and your ears can hear. And based on that, unbelief melts away. You must not have a vision to conquer unbelief. You must not have a vision and a dream. There is an activity of the spirit. For it is God who is at work in us. Both to will and to do. Are you persuaded? Oh, I'm above. We can shout it in church. This is just empty noise. If it does not come from a depth of conviction. How do I know we are not convicted? Because at every given time. We throw away the things that are supposed to govern our life. And we begin to run for something else. As though the word 
were not true. The Bible talks about men who through faith subdued kingdoms, who shut the mouth of lions, wrought righteousness, women who received their dead back to life, and others who died without receiving the promise. They died in faith. These men were convicted. I gave this example yesterday. Let me give it again. Sweetheart, please stand up. Come. Everybody look at this lady. Is this a lady or a guy? Answer me. Is this a lady or a guy? If I look at you right now and I'm a medical doctor and I convince you, will I be able to convince you? Why? You are persuaded. Are you trying to claim being a lady? Are you trying to work it out? You have entered the Sabbath of faith. It has become your present day reality. You live by that truth. I know I'm called of God. There is no message that will make me doubt it once. Are you listening to me? This is the dimension that the Holy Ghost has been shouting in my spirit that the body of Christ should enter. Because there is a religious spirit. I saw this in a vision that the Lord showed me. I didn't even know there was a spirit called a religious spirit that has been fired and sent to the body of Christ. Let me tell you what that religious spirit will do. Men who are ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning. Hallelujah. I was going to minister to one lady. God bless you, my dear. Something happened to me. They brought a lady to me to pray for her for deliverance. And while I began to minister to this lady, the spirits in her began to manifest and they were shouting. They wouldn't stop. Just shouting and talking. And I just decided to keep quiet and listen. The devil is a liar. But under the presence of God, everything tells the truth, including him. Everything. For light cannot stand in darkness. And this lady began to shout, and this is what she said. Of course, not her, but these wicked spirits. That there is a strategy from the kingdom of darkness that is being released against the body of Christ. And then the lady just shouted, or the demons now, they just shouted. They said, switch to, is it code 507 something? And then the next thing she just turned, that this thing is a code that had been existing right from the days of Pharaoh. And he said, man of God, you are hearing me. Let me tell you. He said, remember when the children of Israel, this is a lady who normally does not even know half of that scripture. This is the spirit speaking attempting to challenge me said do you know that in the days of pharaoh when he told the nation of israel when the nation of israel came and moses came as a deliverer he said the moment the word of deliverance and healing came what happened pharaoh said is it not because they are idle you see that is it not because they are idle that they can have the time to do this. What is the strategy? He said, occupy them. Are you getting the strategy now? O give them more work. Let them be more involved that they will be carried away. This was the same spirit that was at work in Martha. Jesus came. There was Mary and Martha. Martha was occupied. And Jesus looks at Martha and he said, Martha, Martha. You are upset. You are worried. You are occupied. This is the spirit. It's a religious spirit. It has been released upon the body of Christ. Ministries are just adding programs. They think it's advancement. This is a strategy from the kingdom of darkness. Occupying more people so that they are carried away. More departments are being formed. More things, activities. This is the same spirit that distracts men. Martha matter you are worried and upset about many things he said one thing is needful in other words many activities and ceremonies that we do in the body of christ are totally useless because they are not part of the things that god designed to bring man 
into his prophetic agenda. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So the consolation is crowd. The man of God is convinced that there is a crowd inside and outside. Thank God for that. But let me tell you the truth. There is a degree of conviction we do not have. Every time I say this, people think I'm being critical or judgmental. Many of the people that come here and suddenly right where they are, the demons begin to leave. Many of these people go to churches on Sunday. What is happening to our churches? I say this with a sincere heart of love. There are many activities. People hold the mic under the influence of demons and sing. And the pastor who is teaching about the gift of the spirit cannot even discern. Yet he calls himself a prophet. Something is wrong. Persuasion. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that no man can take my life. I'm convinced about this. Not a man born by a woman. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, I set before you life. See, every time you are listening to God's word, whether it's through reading it, listen please, or through listening to a message. You were there the day I was praying for the lady. What happened when a koinonia message was played? I don't mean to brag these messages. Listen, I saw something that surprised me. I will be the last man of God to try to exalt myself for any message above another. But there were worship songs that were playing. And this, this lady was just lying down under demon spirits. Nothing happened. Quietly just lying down. The moment we switched, just one, the worship. Suddenly, what happened? Under the influence of the demons, she ran and went and switched off my television. He's here. This is some, and then we were sitting. The next thing, we saw this lady carry my table knife. If not because Kenny held her. They would have said I killed somebody there. What did these demons hear? Many of you wonder why the messages are spreading. It's not a man. There is, there is grace. There is no, what I'm saying is not spectacular. This is not the first time you are hearing this. But there is a spirit. The words that I speak unto you. They are coming from a depth of persuasion. I'm not speaking theory. That which I have seen. That which I have heard. That which our hands have handled. Look at me. Don't go. God isn't done with you yet. Please just let them. Because there is a river flowing in this place. Someone wrote that song, Let the River Flow. There are many worship teams in many churches. The church is a desert and they are singing, Let the River Flow. Listen, God is not happy with this. Let me tell you, this is a very serious message. A hypocrite is one who claims he understands the reality of a thing, but is not walking in the experiential reality of that truth would go to just one meeting and sit down and see what is being done they will hear just one scripture and that scripture will become life in them and they will begin to walk in its reality but right now we have a lot of things people who believe god there are people i preached this somewhere on sunday lord we love you lord we bless you lord you are faithful there are challenges in their lives by Monday, somebody calls them and says, there's one place. The Holy Spirit is already telling you that this is not a godly place. But what happens? It tests your persuasion. You say, well, I will go so long as the man is called a pastor. But the Holy Ghost has told you. But now you choose to look at the things that are going on in your life. Can I tell you something? If the body of Christ does not strengthen her persuasion about kingdom things, we will not last. Are you listening to me? Because Satan has mastered the art of using your senses to dwindle your convictions. 
But Abraham, when he was a hundred years old, considered not the deadness of his body. Both of them had passed any stage where reproduction and childbirth is possible. Bishop Oyedeko, I listened to a message by him recently. And the Lord told him that between now and the 28th of July, every single living faith church will double their congregation. Now you may criticize him and say, what in the world is this? That means there will be massive salvations. Convinced. Do you know that your coming for koinonia tells that you are convinced that service will hold? Is that correct? Imagine if you remained at home and you told somebody, just come and find out. Uh -uh. You were convinced. When you were climbing the bike, the bike was going with you. You didn't doubt for once. What if the service does not hold? This is called conviction. We are not persuaded about spiritual things. When you lay hands on the sick, what is happening to your spirit? Do you truly realize that something is leaving you to step into the person? When you are speaking to someone under the influence of devils, what is happening to you? The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. The Lord is walking with Joshua Selman. I'm convinced. Can I tell you something? It is your degree of persuasion and conviction that will open doors for you in the spirit. Is Ada here, Aaron? When he comes, let me know. Praise the Lord. Say after me, I'm persuaded. Everybody say it, I'm persuaded. My brother, the guy in yellow, please come. My sister, you with purple, come. Please come quickly. I want, we're going to pray shortly. I want to communicate the thing that is burning in my spirit. Come, come, come. Have you given your heart to Jesus Christ? Do you read your Bible regularly? Do you believe what is written there? Everything. Is it true? Has it been working in your life? Tell the truth. Everything. is not true. I'm not embarrassing you. But I'm telling you that if you will take this word and believe it, my dear, how are you? Do you read your Bible? Very well. Do you believe it? Have you seen the things that are written there happen in your life? Not yet. It will become true in your life. And this is my prayer. My brother, May you experience, listen, look at me. If you are experiencing what the Bible says, are you listening to me? In reality, you will not be able to move from here to your house. People will run over and hold your clothes and try to tear it. If the word of God is truly working in your life, people will run over themselves. Are you hearing me? It's not working. It's not working. Just believe me. If two dead people are raised here right now according to the integrity of God's word, next week from 12 o'clock, if you come you will stand in second equa. Is that true? Is that true? You do not know the power of activating the word of God to walk in your life. There is so much. God bless you. Bless you my brother. Look at me. Are you embarrassed? I pray that God will cause you to walk in this truth. You know why I called you? Because you will walk in it. God will use you and even you. That's why I called you to use you. Hmm? God bless you. Hallelujah. That's why I sang that song. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Let me ask you a question. Look at me. If someone were to suddenly carry a gun right now and appear 
in front of us. A real gun, not a toy. Hallelujah. And wants to spray that gun on everybody beginning from me. Or let's assume there's somebody in this crowd now that was sent to come and shoot me or kill me. At that point, are you still persuaded that I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord? Many of you are just saying yes. I've seen armed robbers on the road. I tell you the truth, no man born of a woman, no man born of a woman would be able to take my life. I do not live by the sword. I will not die by the sword. For my Bible, to see, the part of the word that you believe is the part that will work for you. Are you listening to me? The part of the, that section of the Bible that you take as true is the one that will work for you. I'm speaking by revelation. There is a spirit that stands behind a man that holds a gun. No mortal man has the audacity to do that. There is a spirit. And if you look at the man, you will be afraid. But that spirit can bow to the name of the Lord. If somebody looks at you and says, Sam, I am going to a herbalist for you. Many of us panic and say, hey, 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 please, Bishop, stand. Somebody said uh, yesterday, conviction, conviction, conviction. Whoever predicts your downfall is wasting his time. For your hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Listen to what you are saying. You've not even listened to it. It's built on what? And what? What does that mean to you? On Christ the solid rock I stand. See, this is the reason why I love Christ's embassy a lot. For this singular reason. They are men who are persuaded. Are you listening to me? When I'm talking good about a ministry, I mention their name. When I'm flogging out issues, I don't mention names. When you see the way an average Christ embassy person prays, you know they believe in what they are doing. Many of you are filled with the Holy Ghost. You pray in tongues, but you are not yet convinced of its ability to change you. So your praying in tongues is of none effect. You waste six hours, ten hours, yet you see churches that do night vigil every week, but they are not changed. But that's not true. Because scripture cannot be broken. Have you had people say, I've been believing God for the past 10 years. I've been believing God. When are you going to rest in that reality? I have been believing God. And God didn't do anything. Therefore, I will change my mind. You never believed in the first place. You never believed. Are you listening to me? You never believed. Because those who are, belie who are believers can die without receiving the promise and not change their convictions. To death, Bin Laden did not say anything else. Even when they had captured him, he would have quietly said truly from today. Let me tell you that all this Bin Laden is the old one. This is a new person. He rather die than dwindle his conviction. Many of us are not convinced. There is no demon. There is no spirit that will stop the advancement of ENI. If you ever saw a spirit in a vision, it will stop from that vision. It will never happen in this realm. I assure you. There is no spirit. This is not because we are bragging. The hands that lifted us will uphold us till the end. We will not be afraid. For the Lord is our light. And the light of our life. 
and we will not be afraid this is what i believe in myself that the hands that lifted me will uphold me till the end let me tell you if you are waiting one day to hear that ah joshua selman has fallen that's only a dream if you ever see it is a nigerian film because the bible says now unto him that is able to keep you from falling there is, see this is not boasting it's persuasion adeboe went somewhere and there was a plot by a woman they had arranged a woman who will come and jump on him naked so that they will snap it and put it on paper how many of you know that if you throw a great man down you who threw that man will take his position you will suddenly become famous while the man goes down and while he was going the holy ghost spoke to him listen the holy ghost spoke to him he said carry your wife <laughs> he said carry your wife and you know how he talks he said he told his wife let's go please and when he went to the hotel room he stayed there and they were ready the camera person and this when they knocked the door he wanted to go the hand that lifted him will keep him till the end he was about to go but the holy ghost constrained him and he told his wife to go and open the door the moment she opened the door there was this lady only to discover that it's a woman how will you pose that that one thing would have wrecked redeemed and wrecked the whole world to its foundation apostle johnson suleiman was speaking he said he was in his hotel room when a lady knocked his door he said you have a parcel from the receptionist immediately he opened the door that's how she stripped herself he said he looked at her and in his mind he was saying is this how i will end is this how everybody who has looked upon me but there is a hand that lifted him it will uphold him till the end are you persuaded that god can keep you i've shared with you my story i was in worry when a lady came and knocked my door ah i opened this door this lady was practically naked there was nothing left there when i saw this lady i thought about you i thought about god i thought about my parents i thought about my destiny he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to the place of destiny he leads me to the city up above he leads me there are many of you listen when you get convinced satan will sit down and plot something against you and while they are plotting it god is using them to construct a ladder this is how you will walk upon them to a new level and they will say it was not part of the plan for if they had known this they would not have crucified if satan had known that what he was doing was sowing a seed he will move everybody to stop jesus from dying you are not persuaded that's why what you are going through is killing you you're already offended count it all joy my brothers when you face diverse temptation knowing this that the trying of your faith produces patience and let patience have its full cause men of dexterity and stature this is what we lack in the body of christ men who fall like a leaf men without conviction a husband does not come you're already panicking they say there's a service somewhere you say please can you take me there oh god send a prophet this husband must come i give god three months there is no rest you have not entered the sabbath of faith when you enter that point you understand i believe i'm a believer i'm telling you when i get up in the morning i thank god i don't know what happened through the night but i know i thank god only God knows the unseen battles 
day and night. Only God knows the meetings that go in hell every time to stop this meeting every Friday. But you are still living as if Satan does not exist. This is called dominion. Many of you are afraid. Every time God anoints you, you are afraid. You are afraid of ladies. You are afraid of scandal. Every little thing you want to explain yourself to everybody. Do you not know that there is a hand that took you? A bike man, I took a bike today and I was trying to, I gave the man 1,000 naira and he could not give me change. Because he did, he, well he had change but it was all his money, 20, 20 naira, 50, 50 naira. I told him, I said, sir, okay. I told him, take this 1,000. When you get change, bring it back. He looked at me and I said, all this money, if you give me, where will you have change? He said, the God that gave me this one will give me again. Ha! I said, Josh, shame on you. Shame on you. You are coming to preach this night. You should have known that. You should have collected that money and blessed him. And say, it is within my power to call forth greatness to you. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham. And said, blessed be Abraham. There are many men of God that declare over people. But what they are doing is just a religious benediction. If you truly are convinced... Do you know that if somebody just shakes you, something will leave you into that person? I'm not talking about falling down. Someone will shake you and just find out that doors he did not bargain for is opening up. This is what I want you to become. Men and women of conviction. Many of you fall like a leaf. This is why somebody will come to sleep with you. You know that the Bible says flee fornication. Say it after me. One more time. Louder. Say it until something in your spirit happens. You enter the car, no conviction. You cross flyover, no conviction. Until you find yourself in Novotel in Abuja. And the man says, This is the place. I say, Really? No conviction. No conviction. Oh! When it's time for exam, you look at question one, Greek. Question two, Aramaic. Question three, Hebrews. Your neighbor says, all right, let me just help you. Even God understands. At that point, the Holy Spirit brings all the scriptures you know should encourage you. But at that point, you think of my father. What will I tell my parents? How can I spill over? Will they know? Are you not merciful, oh God? What is your degree of conviction? There are some of us, when you carry your tithe, this is how you are frowning, you are just coming, just you are selling myself, all these people, these koinonia people, let me just do it, at least my roommates knows that they bless me. Stretch forth your tithe, Father, thank you, as in take your thing. No. You are not convinced. Whenever your state comes to give you scholarship and they go before um, guidance and counseling, you go there rejoicing. Even if you have not eaten the substance of things you hope for, the evidence. The moment you see the officer, you start laughing. Then today, now today, I will eat. You, in your mind, you have finished cooking. This is conviction. No amount of rain will stop you from leaving that place. You are not going. You are persuaded. But why is that not happening to your Christian experience? Many of you say, oh, I'm one with the Holy Spirit. But is his reality at work in your life? Do you hear him? Does he lead you? Because there are many of us that have made too many stupid decisions in our lives that convinces us that the Holy Ghost is not at work. I know we are all growing. But where it becomes perpetual and continuous, uh -uh, something is wrong. Are you listening to me? One more time, lift your Bible. Say, I believe in God. And I am convinced that the issue of my health has been settled. The issue of my finances has been settled. The issue of my protection has been settled. I am a success. I'm not a failure. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. Koinonia, look at me. I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, believe this. 
believe this we are wasting our time here if you don't believe this are you listening to me believe it this word will not fail you this is the word that brought koinonia to being you were not here the word took you from where you were and brought you here this is the word i would die believing this word i'm persuaded if nothing else ever happens in my life i believe it there is no meeting that i will go to that god will not do great things i'm not trying to believe it it has become my reality because i have become a portal for god to find expression this is my conviction this is my conviction my hands are blessed hands i believe it if i shake you you are blessed I'm telling you if i call you blessed you are blessed my word you see i give voice to the word of god in the spirit i can call things that be not i can program things that are in time and eternity to come and synchronize i can forward things in your life by the power of the word of god and elisha said oh king let Naaman come and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. Elijah was so convinced. He was laughing at the prophets of Baal. If it was me, while Baal was busy struggling, I'll be praying. Oh God, please don't disgrace me. I will be in a, in a moment of worship. Elijah was laughing. When you pray, you don't pray for the food to enter your mouth. You are convinced and you are persuaded. Even when you are lying, you believe that your voice box will still speak out that lie. You are persuaded. He is able, more than able, to accomplish what concerns me today. Lord, you are able. You're more than able, yes, I know you are, to handle everything that comes my way. You are able, more than able. Sing it from your heart. To make me what he wants to make me listen to what you are saying you're able to make me what you want me to be you're able to take me where you want me to go you're able to show me what you want me to see you're able to teach me what you want me to know listen be persuaded your parents tell you there is no school fees you say i know my bible says the part of a just is as a shining light you may be a madman give voice to the word of god activate it in your spirit believe it don't be weak abraham staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief he counted him faithful do you count god faithful every little thing believers chicken out every little challenge they run if you if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small job said though he slay me i am convinced yet will i praise him he said i know my redeemer leave it are you convinced You trusted God for four point something. You checked the board. You saw 1.5. 
with four carryovers. And so what now? And so what now? Now you turn aside and say, God, look at what you have done. Are you really strong that way? You are not convinced. We have many Christians who are not convinced. I'm telling you, your conviction is small. And if you do not strengthen your conviction, it will dwindle. If I have no food to eat right now, let me tell you what I will do. I will hold my stomach and I will walk up and down my room and I will say, Lord, I bless you. I know my Redeemer lives. That's the song I will sing. I know Listen, that's what you must see. If I can get you to a point where you are persuaded, I tell you every message you hear will become living and active. There's too much destruction in our churches. Many messages, many series, no conviction. And so we cannot walk in the reality of it. T.L. Osborne, great man. See, Paul, Peter said, such as I have, at what point did he know he had something? Because when Jesus called him, he didn't have anything. That means there was a day, there was a time when he knew he had something. Everybody say, I have something. I have an anointing. Please say it, I have an anointing. I am not weak. I am not small. I'm strong in Christ. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm favored. The favor of God compasses me as a shield. I may not see it right now, but I'm convinced about its reality. And the word of God will bring it to pass. Say one more time. I may not see it right now. I may not hear the news right now, but I'm convinced the job is coming. The child is coming. The breakthrough is coming. The prosperity is coming. This is faith. This is faith. This is faith. There is nobody that tells us every Friday that there will be so, so, so and so number of people. But the protocol know that the prayer band people are praying and they are setting the atmosphere. And based on that conviction, they go and get cheers and bring. And God is alive and active. Watching over his word to perform it. What have you believed God for? Many of us, you've never really believed God for anything aside from your salvation. Do you now see that it's possible to come out for an altar call and not be saved? Oh yes! There are many people, I tell you the truth, many pastors who criticize me for this, that you came out and recited altar call prayer does not mean you are, you are, you are, you are saved. The Bible says, whosoever shall believe, shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Not whosoever shall speak English. You now see why on the day of Pentecost, while Peter yet speak, he speak to men who truly opened their hearts and the Holy Ghost did not ask for the permission of any man. This is the reason why sometimes we are worshipping and God begins to do great things such as this. There is an atmosphere of faith. Many of you have surrounded yourself with nonsense that chokes away faith. Themes that dwindle your convictions. Ungodly music that dwindles your conviction. Say it does not matter. Jordan is here. His bookstore is here. Why don't you go and buy books? Why don't you sit down with the word of God? I made up my mind that my entire environment will speak faith. You don't come to my, my place and talk unbelief. I will send you out. I tell you the truth, I will send you out. Politely, but sternly, you will go out. Many of you, all you speak are languages of faithlessness and unbelief. Every time you enter someone's room, the moment you come out, you leave the person worse than you met the person. 
Ah, now wow, no food in this room, koinonia ke. All of you koinonia people jumping, jumping. Me and you, who is better? You see it? You see it? Anybody that comes and speaks like that, don't be angry. Don't criticize them. You see that? But I tell you, be far from those kinds of people. They will dampen your faith. The moment God tells you, Pastor Williams, you are rising from glory to glory. You are moving from grace to grace. If I have a dream that does not look like what God has told me, I will change it. Did you hear me? Many of you think if you have a dream, I saw it, hey, 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 it will come to pass. Uh -uh. Job said, has thou commanded thy morning? A man can command his morning. We are going to rise up and we are going to pray. We are going to make declarations of faith and say, Lord, I repent of unbelief. I want to enter the Sabbath of faith where I'm convinced and nothing will move me. Rise up on your feet, everybody. When a season where God is bringing miracles, when a season where God is doing mighty things, hear me inside and outside. Believe this message because it comes from the Lord. Are you ready to pray now? Prayer point number one. You're going to say, Lord, every spirit of unbelief in my life, let it live right now. That spirit that makes me question the truth of God's word. Every spirit, come on, challenge it. Inside and outside. Every spirit of unbelief. Don't look at your neighbor. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Your life can be better than it is if unbelief goes. Every spirit of doubt and unbelief. But I know whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. I'm persuaded. Rekete ke shekete. Rekete baka prakata. La pako proko tope. Rekete ke peko sobata balabaraba. Pray. I curse every spirit of unbelief. Every spirit, shake it, take 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 it, Pray concerning your academics, concerning your marriage. I cause unbelief. I cause unbelief. My God is able. My God is able. My God is able. Listen. The fact that your situation has not changed does not mean it cannot change. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The fact that your situation has not changed. Listen. Make up your mind that if my situation does not change, I will not be the one to change. Are you hearing me? One of two of you will give up one day. Oh, I've been speaking for one year. I've been speaking for two years. Abraham believed God for 25 years. If it is genuine faith, there will be a performance. You're going to pray right now. You know the areas of your life where you are trusting God for breakthroughs. Please, I don't want you to keep quiet. In the next one minute, pray radically. 
like a like a priest lift your voice challenge your finances challenge your spiritual life challenge your ministry share ye the word of the lord share ye the word of the lord share ye the word of the lord grace grace increase multiplication academic excellence academic excellence divine health longevity god is faithful Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Prayer works. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much. The effectual, fervent prayer. I command breakthroughs. Come on, pray for your life. It will change. Don't keep quiet. It will change. It will change. Forget about what you are seeing now. It can change for the things that are seen are temporal the things that are seen are temporal the report you had is temporal i change reports 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 i believe the report of the lord I change reports. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus is the word, but you are the one that gives voice to that word. You activate it, making it potent. John said, I am the voice of one crying. I give voice. I give voice. When you begin to speak the word, you activate it to produce. It becomes living and active. Right now, you're going to pray. You're going to prophesy what you know the word of God has said over every area of your life. Don't keep quiet. Even if it's only one scripture you know. Are you ready? Are you ready to pray? Lift your voice and prophesy. My part is as a shining light. Favor. Everywhere I go, the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my inheritance. The Lord is my portion. Oh, hallelujah. Favor follows me. Everywhere I go, I break forth from the left to the right. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy favor. Prophesy blessings. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above. I'm not beneath. In the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light. My hands are blessed. I have the spirit of excellence. Pray. 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 Pray, pray. Koto keteke, reketeke pro koto balaraba. Rabaka pros, rekete koso kete, rekete. Things are changing. Your life is changing. Your life is changing. You have authority. You have power. Is resident within your spirit. Power to change. Power to adjust. You may be small, but you are powerful. Greater is he 
that is in your spirit. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We, having the spirit of faith, as it is written, I believe and therefore I speak. I speak long life. I speak greatness. Everywhere I go, men follow me with favor. Doors are opening unto me in the name of Jesus. The anointing upon my life is increasing from glory to glory, grace to grace. You enlarge my coast like Jabez and move from glory to glory. Koinonia is rising, ever increasing, rising. New levels of power, new levels of grace. We are not small. I refuse poverty. Shake it, Kabala. Pray. The spirit of holiness is at work in my life. The spirit of purity is at work in my life. In the name of Jesus, I am pure. I am holy, blameless before the throne, commended by the blood of the Lamb unto him who is able to keep me from falling and present me faultless before his glorious majesty. Declare, declare that he may be justified. Declare, I walk in blessings. I'm favored. I'm above only. I give life to the word of God. The secrets of God are with me because I fear him. He gives me the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. The Lord teaches my hands to profit. I'm above principalities, powers, thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Pray. I cause sickness from my body. Command every disease to go. Command every infirmity to leave. Command every sickness. Resist the devil. Make sure you are praying. Command every sickness in your body to check out. Headaches, go. Fever. Go. 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 No inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. I walk in health. I walk in health. If that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body, I refuse fatigue. Command my grain to go. Command every spirit, every demon, every enchantment, every covenant, every curse, every act of divination. Take it away from your life. I set myself free. Come on, pray. I set myself free. Every curse. Every activity of witchcraft and manipulation, I curse it. It cannot stand. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm blessed. I'm distinguished. I'm anointed. I'm blessed. I'm full of grace, full of power, full of wisdom. My prayer life is growing. My word life is growing. I'm becoming a champion in the spirit. I become a champion, a man of power, power in the heavens, power in the earth, the ability to change territories, miracles are wrought through my hands. Koinonia becomes a place of signs, wonders, miracles, deliverance, revelation, prosperity, Excellence, character.
there is there is a lady um one of these ladies of incomparable incomparable very fair you are light-skinned i don't know her name they used to come and greet me sometimes very fair light-skinned incomparable this incomparable beauty crew where are they come now the lord wants to end captivity in your family mama the Lord is telling me that I should tell you that he will reward you greatly. He will reward you greatly. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. He will reward you. I need to pray for you. Your family is under serious demonic attack. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Where are you from? Benway State, sir. Yeah? Benway State. Benway State. Come. This is, this is the spirit of death. No, no. Step down. This is the spirit of death and we must pray and take authority over it. Father, I curse that spirit now. Go! By the power of the Holy Spirit. On your life and that of your family members. In the name that is above all names. I command that attack to come to an end. And God wants a deeper relationship. Look at me. God wants a deeper relationship with you. He says I should tell you. That you need to give him time. And you need to commit yourself passionately to the things of God. Yes. Mama let me pray for you. It's not just because of old age. Your eye issue is not just because of old age. This is a demonic thing. That's why God identified you even with the glasses. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone came from Kano. 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 Someone came in from Kano. You're the only person from Kano. Kano. This is a family. Oh, this is not just one person I'm talking about. Please. Uh -uh, this is a family. You are not the only one that came. In the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for you. That the God of heaven. Do you have a daughter, Mama? Where is she? She's in Abuja. She's in Abuja? Yes. Is she married? Yes. I have two daughters. The first one. The first one, she's married. Have you heard from her? Yes. She's doing well. She's fine. You think so? But she's looking for a job. We have to pray for her okay. because I'm seeing a problem with her marriage. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let Mama have no reason to cry because of what is happening to her children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Mama, the Lord is renewing your strength. The back pain you used to have in the morning is gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kano. Is there a family that came from Kano? A family. I know individuals came, but is there at least more than one person? Because this I'm seeing like a family. All of you came from Kano. I don't mean you are based there. You traveled from there to here. Well, I'll pray for you, but this is. seeing a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. This word is for a family. But let me pray for you. Come. We have to pray. Look at me. That the, so that the devil will not kill your potentials. I'm seeing books and I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. This is what I'm seeing. Books. And I'm seeing a spirit sitting on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. I declare the opening of the gates of destiny for you. See, let me tell you tonight. If things are not going right, don't pretend they are going right. Fight it out here. We are, going, are you getting what I'm saying? Please. This is why God prepared this meeting. Don't come and waste your time. The Lord specifically kept speaking to me that tonight is dedicated for families no matter how you are doing well if your family is not doing well you are not fine are you hearing what i'm saying so don't let anybody just distract you and make it look like you are wasting your time hallelujah ella come let me pray for you so that your mother will not be told that she's sick lord i destroy any yoke of sickness over her mom's life 
in the name of Jesus. This lady, you that tied something forward. No, no, no. This one, yes. Come, 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 come. Just let me pray for you. Is it Gozier or Chigozier? Something that has, it's like an Igbo name. It has Gozier in it. I know there's I.E. Gozier or something like that. Is there anyone like that? Whether I, I don't know if it's your name or son name or something, but I'm saying a Gozier. The Lord is asking me to pray for you and he's saying he's bringing restoration to your family. In the name of Jesus, he's bringing restoration to your family. He's bringing restoration to your family. What's your name? Eh? Anosie. Okay, I saw something. Was, okay, come, let me pray for you. Where are you coming from? Mina. Mina. Yes. All the way from Mina. Yes. What do you do? I'm a master student. No. Let me pray for you. There are doors that the Lord wants to open for you. But it will have to be by prophecy. It will not just open like that. Father, let those doors be open right now. By the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that those doors of limitations are open right now for you. In the name of Jesus. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. 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 Is that your name? You are Jennifer. No, this is not just this Jennifer. I will talk to you, but Jenny, anybody, other person with the name Jennifer? You are Jennifer. Who else is Jennifer? Not a name you know alone, a name that everybody knows you as Jennifer. Please don't just stand up and come carelessly. Think about what we're saying. Who is the, you're all Jennifer? Who is from Kaduna? You're from Kaduna. I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, lay your hands on your stomach. There will be no death in your families. The sound of death will not be heard. Out! That devil of death. He will leave her family right now. Because I'm seeing that there would have been a lamentation August 7th. But in the name of Jesus, we cancel it by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. There will be no death there will be no death. There will be no death. There will be no death in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? The Lord is bringing healing. Healing to somebody in your family. Healing to someone in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your mother is from Kaduna. Your mom is from Kaduna. Who is from Kataf? Zango Kataf. Your mother is from Zango Kataf. Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the limitation over this family be lifted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Adam, is it Adamu? Adamu? There is Adamu. I don't know if it's your name. Son name, Adamu. Adamu. Your name is Adamu. Your son name. Yes, Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are? Kogi State. Kogi State. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from no. now? A mantle. A mantle. You love God very well. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, if God tells you he wants to use you, will you allow him to use you? Yes, sir. Because there are so many things God wants to do in and through your life. I hear my spirit, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord says, I should tell you that I will do mighty things in and through you. For the stone that was rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The Lord brings a visitation to your life. 
you will go through series of spiritual experiences father let there be a birthing hold my hands change him oh god the first thing that will happen to you is a circumcision the pruning of the old i cast the spirit that stops you from walking with god let it leave now for he will not pour new wine in an old wine skin i cast that spirit give way for the king to come into his life Please bring him up. Lord, let the prophetic teaching anointing come upon him. Make him a mighty man. Put a hunger and a desire in his heart for your word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Outside. There is somebody I want to speak to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord outside towards the extreme back. The power of God is going to come upon one person there mightily. Please let the ushers bring the person. I need to speak to the person. Outside, towards the back, towards the end part. The power of God will come mightily and strong upon one person there. For I will make you like Deborah, said the Spirit of God. I will make you a mighty warrior, said the Spirit of God. Today I lift away from your life the distractions. Distractions. The Lord is taking away distractions from your life. Distractions. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. So let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and run with perseverance the race hallelujah stand behind her i'm seeing the power of god coming on her i don't know what it is for but the anointing of the spirit is coming strong upon her there is something god is taking out of her family no the usher not even the lady you usher god is taking away something out of your life Hallelujah. Emmanuel, come. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. The Lord is lifting darkness from your family. Darkness from your family. It must roll away now. It's lifting darkness from your family. A 
Amaka and Adora, come. Come quickly, quickly. The Spirit of the Lord says I should tell you the feast of new things. The feast of new things. Hold hands together. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. The feast of new things. Ah, he will wipe away that which is of the old. And he will bring you into the new. The Lord says, I should tell you the feast of new things. I am doing a feast of new things. Bringing into your life a feast of new things. A feast of new things. The anointing of the spirit will make this happen. Let it flow to you right now. And change you. Change you. Change you. Change you. Your father is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Your dad is a police officer. Please, where is the person? In Zaria here, not outside of Zaria. A police officer in Zaria here. the Lord with all your heart and the Lord will use you but there are many things that need to be pruned there are distractions in your life distractions your name is Emmanuel and it means God is with you there are distractions little things sway you your life is too emotional to walk with God. You need stability. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I impart upon you strength in your spirit, man. Strength. Take it now. The strength of the spirit. It will come upon you strongly. I've laid hands on you. You will never be able to be weak and dwindle around again. And come upon you. Mercitilla, come quickly. There are weights that must be broken. The Spirit of God says, Weights, weights, they must be broken. Weights, they must be broken. Cares and weights and worries. Cast your cares before the Lord because the Lord wants to do great things in your life, but there are weights. Wait, wait. There are weights. Oh God, may those weights give way right now. In the name of Jesus. Ken, an angel is standing close to you. And I'm seeing oil being poured upon you. And the Lord is saying, Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. Lord, let that oil be poured upon him for his family. The Lord is saying, again, I will visit your family. Again, I will visit your family. That's what the Lord is saying. Again, I will visit your family. And this time around, it will be with power. Again, I will visit your family. My dear, may the Lord anoint you. Is an anointing that is coming upon you. May the Lord anoint you. You are weak in the spirit. I strengthen you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. And a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Eh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him. But in fact, this this is a baby. It's not even somebody as old as this. This is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick. Go dear, go dear, go dear. Come, your breakthrough has come. coming from Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness darkness over the family I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ from every power that is not of God Madam, will, there will be a prayer session and I will pray for your son but let me just lay hands on him since you came out Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have this kind of dream, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. Do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you.
it's an awakening. I break the chains of limitation over you now. I cast those chains. I set them on fire. In the name that is above all names. May those chains be broken. And I separate you from error. There is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected. I separate you from error. You will be circumspect and you will only be accurate in the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in Oshrin? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire, it's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him. He wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let that leave. Everything that does not name the name of Christ, may it leave. Come. This gentleman, you, it's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last person and then we'll just come, my dear. This lady. No, yes, come. You now, yes. Let no man despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. Let no one despise you. Let no one despise you, for out of you will come a treasure. The Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels, that the excellency and power may be of God and not of men. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today. That will make you uncommon. Uncommon. Distinguished. For you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise I curse it. I curse it. Acts chapter 3. Turn to your neighbor and say, are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody. All those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from birth, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who seen Peter and John, follow me closely, about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fasten, fastening his eyes upon him with John said look on us and this is the key verse verse 5 let's read together one to read and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something expecting to receive something when he said look on us they paid attention 
because they were expecting that they were going to receive something as i began to pray and say lord what would i share with your people the lord said the only thing i need from them is expectation 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 is a proof of faith expectation is a proof that you trust god hallelujah if you if you tell me you are hungry and i dip my hands in my pocket automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that i'm bringing out something is that true and so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you the only thing god is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant expect that sickness to leave your body expect that family captivity to come to an end expect the lord to visit you expect to step into new levels of the anointing expect that no matter what the challenge is the power of god can step into your life it does not take time it only takes the spirit of god for where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the lord is not there is no liberty i want you to know that the spirit of god is in this place tonight and the only message the Lord asks me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant. Expectant. Lord, I expect to be healed. I expect that you will wipe my tears. I expect that this situation in my life will change at once. I expect it. I expect it. Do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant. That's the only message the Lord asked me to give us tonight. Expectation. Expectation. Expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered. Expect that that which you came down. See, don't look at the situation. Just be expectant. Be expectant. The greatest enemy to expectation is your past. Your history. Your track record of failure. Your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God. So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before. But I fasted before. It says forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday. I press. Everyone say I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Just for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God and say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves. And as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 
wisdom is opening you up to strange wisdom wisdom that's what you are receiving wisdom strong wisdom is opening you up to a season of wisdom that's what you need for the next level of your life wisdom tremendous wisdom the wisdom of the spirit the wisdom of the spirit the wisdom of the spirit he's giving you wisdom he's giving you wisdom he's giving you wisdom Lord I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him strange order of wisdom in the name of the Lord Jesus wisdom in your decisions dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before you will make decisions that will accelerate your life accelerate ministry hallelujah in one minute mention everything you came with as a challenge and say Lord the time has come for your grace and your power Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. hallelujah lift your hands lift your hands we're starting tonight with individuals that god is giving them breakthroughs every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the spirit at the count of three just those individuals one two three now now take it take it take it take it now that break anointing i release it right now right now right now right now all the ones separated for breakthroughs right now inside and outside i release that breakthrough anointing that breakthrough anointing right now that breakthrough anointing right now it comes like a mighty rushing wind the breakthrough anointing the breakthrough unction enough of that level enough of that dimension 
I speak it. I declare it. I prophesy it. And I release it. Take it from your belly. Out of your belly. Let it gush like living waters. Out of your belly. That breaker anointing. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly. That breaker anointing. Breakthroughs. 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 I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle. By the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ka ta. Embro ka se ke te. Ele ke te bo soto ba. Para ta ri ke te bo lo se ke te. Se ke te ke te re ke te bo. Embro ka ta na ka ti le bo sha. Se ke te le ko to shia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said for out of your belly something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly just keep your hands there. Father in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs right now. Right now. And right now from your belly from your belly from your belly from your belly in the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata reketetekete bekata taboskata from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought of new wine a busting thought Hallelujah. 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 Sabarada balada bakadia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord, I pray wherever they are right now, by the light of the Spirit, my Father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. I put it in your spirit by the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice saying this is the way you will hear that voice saying this is the strategy you will hear that voice hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands the lord wants to destroy 
marital delay this is what is happening right now marital just keep your hands just do what i'm telling you to do hallelujah now hear me there are people here who god wants to release them into their marital destiny but there are horns and powers that has kept them down you may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that but the enemy has done this lift your hands father in the name of jesus i release you right now i release you i release your family i release your sisters that power that has held your marital destiny hear the voice of the lord that power that has stopped marriage in your family i speak in the name of jesus be loose right now 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 hallelujah now lift your hands i'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit and so i know the lord wants me to destroy barrenness 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 there is someone who came here with that situation i don't know if it's a couple or somebody you are expecting a miracle desperately let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands, let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. do you believe your wife will come back yes sir you want her back yes sir. i'm going to pray for you your wife will return back Amen. forget about what has happened god will give you two boys two girls Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I 
God is helping you. This marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. But it's like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined. The Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka brought us I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life and I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls and I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm holding your hands and with these hands may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known and i pray in the name of jesus that the lord will restore your fortune and he will bless you in the name of jesus christ friend come where are you from kaduna too zaria yeah. zaria here yeah. you came alone yes no i came with a friend what would you want the lord to do in your life marital breakthrough Marital breakthrough. Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. Marriage. When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father, you anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people in the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this row. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. 
Shekete Prokoto Pakata. Right to the back. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight is not just for you, but for every family you represent. So there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered. Not just for themselves, but for their families and the families you represent. Lift your hands. Father, in the name that is above all names, I'm praying. There are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people. Appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives. And Lord, it's time for them to go because this is Mount Zion. Now therefore I speak to every foul spirit, every devil of darkness, every yoke, every territorial power that sits across territories. I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing. I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three second spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now Come out now. Come out of God's people. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams. Make intercourse with them and destroy their lives. Keep those hands lifted. Lord, where are those people? Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature of the compelling character of women. I pray right now. Anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you're seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. Please make way for those who are coming out. Jesus is a healer. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Hallelujah. Now all of you who have come out. I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Yep. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now. 
when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now in abundance thank you jesus father let there be miracles i see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere right now right now miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now right now right now miracles everywhere i see miracles miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere right now right now i see miracles everywhere i see your miracles everywhere
From where? Pambigua. Pambigua. Yes, sir. You brought him from Pambigua. Yes, sir. What's wrong with him? You know, this is the stomach. Is the stomach is swollen. Yes. It's a witchcraft attack. Witchcraft attack. They remove a bone. Uh uh. Now, tell me all the details. What is wrong with him? You don't know. It's witchcraft attack, sir. Oga, okay. love Jesus. Gaskia. You understand English now? Conjure in Boca. Go back, Gaba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not once, not twice. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a shrine. I'm seeing yes. concoctions. Yes, sir. I'm even seeing them pour something and he has, yes, he's yes, drinking. Sir. Yes, sir. See, these are some of the things that you, when you know something is demonic, you don't add it with another. The devil will never heal you. It will backfire. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. He loves God. He loves God. Yes. yes. That's her. Oh, Selena, this is where we miss her. Talk to him. Tell him Jesus will pray. We tell him what she needs. He can't walk well. Eh? Hold on. Don't worry. Ogasa, talk to him. You'll be interpreting him. Huh? Tell him in the name of Jesus. He will walk well now. And that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And tell him to go. What's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated, Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come. Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today no witchcraft power will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
Life to my hands. Jesus. 
Look at what is happening to his hands. He cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead, begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned, you cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise.
run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our hands, He will lift us up. In a Oh, you say oh, of God. Of God. Can we say it again? If we call to him. He will run to us. If we run to him. He will run to us. He will lift our hands. He will lift, lift our hands. Come now, pray. Oh, praise his name. Oh, you say so, God. Hey. Oh, sing for joy to God. To him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name. Oh, you say it's our God. One time. If we call to him, he will run to us. He will run to him, he will run to us. He will lift our head. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hail your name, day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing, Oh, say, yeah. I say 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 yeah. I 
Jesus harder. Higher, higher, oh, oh. Lift Jesus higher. Higher, higher, oh. Lift, lift, lift Jesus higher. Miracle walking God. If Jesus had What the Lord has done, He has destroyed the works of Satan. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Please, if, if you are here to submit your prayer request, we are going to give God a hot, hot praise as we pray on this. Three to five minutes of hot praise. Dance out every nonsense out of your life. This name was Worship team, are you ready? This name I like that guy. Mind. That's ah no no. This name is Tima. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Steve. This name is Tima. The bank is in Come on, hey. This name is Tima. The bank is in Hey. Give a lot of dance and a shout of praise. Hey, 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 The Lord a dance and a shout. Am I bummy rubber bar for bow go dare? Your best shouts, give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's 
and begin to just pray in the spirit unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come oh God we have come before the mighty one I like you to pray there is nothing that our God cannot do there is nothing says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request represent the challenges of your people this request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny these requests threaten the advancement of your kingdom in our lives we pray in the name that is above all names that every request here be turned into a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ no matter how impossible the situation is oh god i pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some, I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, and I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, seketeketepaka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos katabalatapa, rebeketeketeketepeledebosh. I call them into your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation. Strategies that are revealed of the spirit. Strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you. I pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. The wisdom for the next dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion. Lack of direction. There's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do. It can be frustrating when you are clueless. You are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do. But there is the spirit of counsel and mind. The, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names. I pray for you that every decision you need to make makapakato shetegetebete every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion.
Hallelujah. I pray for you. Part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities. Hagar, listen, Hagar was in a place. It was a desert, but there was water. Her eyes could not see it. But when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her, suddenly she saw water. I pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May. The anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you. I release it upon you now. I release it upon you now. Where men see obstacles, may you see opportunities. Where men see stumbling blocks, may you see stepping stones. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear has kept many people from moving forward. Fear of everything. Fear of death fear of failure, fear of taking action, fear of moving even when God says move you say I'm afraid, start that business I'm afraid, take a step to marry I'm afraid, do this I'm afraid, move on further I'm afraid I pray for you in the name of Jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step I cause that fear now I cause that fear now I cause that fear now when they got to the Red Sea they were afraid and when Moses went before the Lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God take the step and die taking it let it be that it was God that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses Others may trust in chariots. But for us, we trust in the name of the Lord. And everything we do in the name of the Lord. He said, whatsoever you do in word and in deed. Do it in the name of the Lord. I pray for you again. Fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up. Fear has stopped people from applying in places, high places. They think they are not qualified. Fear has stopped many of us. Fear has stopped you from starting the building project. Who said you are too young? So long as God gives you the signal. There are some of us. All of us are adults in our house. But our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow. Because of fear. You have 10,000. Go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there. Tell the devil I'm coming. Look let me tell you. You will never break through in life. Till you take the attitude of if I perish, I perish. I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete lepa. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare 
by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus I pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future I release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers I cause it to his root now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those trusting God for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died I call it back to life in the name of Jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocre the voice of limitation I silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life I pray for every ministry represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory I pray for every business represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every job represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every family represented here greater grace and greater glory I pray for every destiny represented here greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory greater grace and greater glory the Bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over I pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth I release it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you in the name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your walk with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you 
the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense. The grace of God picks you out of that limitation. Grace to say no to every appearance of evil. Grace to say no to everything that is ungodly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray a special prayer for our brothers. I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility. One more time. I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are. That entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success. I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus. From today I release upon you grace. Grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. You will not need to defend yourself. The Lord God Almighty will be your defense. The Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost. Restoration. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray for you. A new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you. Where you have lost the voice of the spirit. I command that you be to hear his voice again. Where you have lost zeal for the house of God. I command a restoration for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. All through the remaining part of May. Into June. Let it be a month of testimonies for you. Beginning from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those who have been looking for you to bless you. May this be the season they find you. All those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands. And lift you up with no strings attached. But have not been able to find you. I pray. Listen. Listen. Samuel had already been ordained. I mean Saul ordained to be a king. But he needed to find Samuel. And they kept searching and he could not find Samuel. Until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him. You can be one anointing away from the next level of your life. You can be one prophetic impartation away. You can be one destiny helper away. I pray again for you. Whoever has been looking for you. Like the lost ass of Samson. Of, of Saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of june will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of jesus christ before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting hallelujah now keep standing everybody you're here and you need to return back to Jesus Christ keep standing everyone you've heard the word of the Lord and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him or you've once given your life to Jesus and you've seen that you are derailing and you need to make it right tonight we will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity 
to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life, wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat after me consciously and from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is, this is a confession that brings salvation unto you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I declare from today that you are my Savior and you are my Lord. I receive of your life. I receive of your spirit. And I declare that from today, my sins are washed away. I am a brand new person. The hand of God is upon me. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is not of God, I take authority over it. I receive grace from God to live a victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you for making this decision. It's the best decision you can make. This decides your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details. They will welcome you more warmly. And then, we'll communicate to you through them. God bless you. This way. Draw that baby. Baby, this way. No, 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 no. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time being here worshipping with us at Koinonia, please make your way to the front. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. Celebrate them as they come. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Come on, Koinonia. You can do better than this. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep